this this is not drama this is not fun this is some serious things happening and there's even more developments with chibi with the ongoing issue with the freaks on twitter give me the update on one hand i now have enough evidence to really press criminal charges and get like homeland security cyber security and stuff and even the fbi involved i've talked to this is fucking crazy I'm at my wit's end, like they're actively trying to dox everything, hacking into one of my accounts and they're posting CP on it. If you don't know what CP is, good for you, honestly. It's better to live in blissful ignorance. They are trying to get my phone number and they're trying to involve my other family members. Please, anyone, I beg you, help me. Everyone should be talking about this. My reaction is not really going to do anything to this, but I think that a lot of people should be talking about this ongoing issue because this is insane with a few people that have pretty much told me the same and um with the evidence now that i have definitely something potentially can be done but on the other hand it's crazy to me that all of this started over what because i posted a fucking tweet about an Don image Don? or not an image a little scene of don to don just i guess if we want to really amp up an edgy post Let's not get anything twisted, right? His post was definitely baiting. He knows he's baiting. It was a scene of the girl strapped up to the chair. And there's aliens about to grape her. But the focus of that wasn't that specific topic, but rather the scenes that happens right immediately. The whole animation sequence during that scene is amazing. And that was the tweet. Obviously, it is definitely baiting. But after that has been admitted, do you think that actively doxing and making death threats and having your dead brother's grave be public, publicized, do you think that's the appropriate action? Like, people seem to think they want to demonize him after choosing this one little thing, right? Calling him a pedo, whatever. That's not true. Anyone that is actually watching his content knows that's not true. But there's these six psychos online who are most likely dumb, uneducated, stupid, ignorant children who wants the attention, who sees that he's getting a lot of clicks, and they want to demonize him by using this single win point, which has some level of partial truth, but it is such a disingenuous way to represent what he's about. And then they start a witch hunt like this. And every other hater then starts to dogpile on this shit. It is such a ridiculous response to what happens. Not even real fiction. And it's spiraling into where it's not just personal insults to me, death threats to me but it's also where my my brother's grave has been docked to the point this is crazy people have the gps coordinates like That's the actual fucking insane to where it's at i have the person responsible for doxing which i thankfully have an image here i could just show you guys okay. that is censored but the person responsible here you know, is actively now messaging people to um, more or less come kill me, DMing them my address. That is so fucking cringe. Like, if you look at the amount of impressions that it got compared to the amount of likes, this is definitely an outlier, right? Of course, it's the, the, the like it should have. If this is a post that people truly believe and resonate with, it's gonna have way more likes. But I guarantee there's way more responses because this is a fucking psycho. This is an absolutely deranged, mentally ill psycho online doing this shit. And this is not the normal behavior of most people. But all it takes is that one fucking insane person to just ruin everything. Like, you are genuinely making a fucking Dragon Ball meme about a dead brother? These people have never actually experienced any loss in their lives. Anyone that's actually experienced the death of family and friends... People who've actually, you know, experienced what the turmoil of society and like the struggle that we go on a day-to-day -day basis, just the common suffering of mankind. These are 14, 15 year old children that think that they're edgy or they're grown adults with the mindset of a child that just cannot empathize because they themselves have never gone through that kind of situation. It's a bunch of retards again, just doing this shit for clicks online. And it's just absolutely mind-boggling that like shit like this happens and then even more people dogpile on it like how is this the normal behavior it's not the normal behavior it is the behavior of these outliers 
He's fucking mentally ill psychopath that literally should be in a psych ward. People saying that it wasn't the Boruto fandom. He... <laughs> like, that's crazy. What is the story of Naruto and Boruto? Do you think that... Look, for some reason, and I know why, it's because people who watch this shit and have their profile pictures as this are children, and there's nothing wrong about enjoying Boruto or Naruto. But, like, those children have no fucking understanding of life, and I bet the main characters would never vouch for this shit. I don't think Naruto or Boruto would be like, yeah, bro, we should just dox and make fun of dead family members. Like, how could you possibly say this shit? I, I think there are some themes in the story that would definitely go against the behaviors of these idiots. But again, why do you expect these retards to have any semblance of, like, logic or rational thinking? Motherfuckers literally saying this shit. A lot of shit happened, but Chibi just blaming Boruto fans, everything is just funny. Motherfucker just immediately replies, because I'm the one who leaked him lol, and I'm a Boruto fan. Just insanity. Insanity. I think that, um, maybe call me a conspiracy theorist. I think that this is simply, and, and there's a lot of other shit happening right now, not just with Chibi. Like that a spirit to analysis guy is getting death threats, and he made a video on Twitter about that, kind of blaming the ReZero fandom. I don't think it's a specific fandom's problem. I truly believe this is not a Boruto problem. This is not a ReZero problem. This is not a Dandadan problem. It's a generational problem with kids that are now at the age between like 14 to 18, somewhere within that range, right? These kids have grown up without any parenting. They're the byproduct of shitty parenting because life is so fucking hard. The parents don't have time to parent. They grow up on fucking iPads and their fucking smartphones. They're introduced to social media. They have no fulfilling lives. They have no fulfilling relationships. They cannot make genuine relationship with other friends and peers in real life. They latch onto schizophrenic fucking tweets online, hoping that their beliefs will get affirmed. And by doing so, you have this cesspool of younger generations that are so unparented, that are so uneducated, that goes on to do this shit thinking they're cool this is it it's just a new generation of kids that's grown up without any semblance of proper parenthood or fulfilling relationships the absolute bottom of the barrel pieces of shit that should have never been born and this is what happened bro regardless if this is a setup or not for the boruto fandom he's a part of the boruto community <clears throat> the straight up that, that's what this individual is he admits it himself and on top of that, having contact with Kree, which was the person responsible for about a year and a half, two years ago, get, causing the slander to call- This, I think, has to do with, like, a guy, this is, again, like, prior drama. Like, this is not drama right now. What we're talking about is a fucking serious situation with potential felonies and legal court fucking action. But whatever happened a year and a half, it, it looks like this account and Chibi, there seems to be some disputes. Go, get, causing the slander to call me a pet. When did all the parents just collectively decide not to raise their kids? And here's the most fucked up part. These stupid kids are at fault, but they're the byproduct of shitty parenting. And then the shitty parents, here's the thing. Who do you think is having kids in this fucking generation over the last 20 years when things are so fucking hard? The cost of living is going up. Everything is so fucking expensive. Back in the day, you could have one father work a fucking shitty ass job making $60,000 a year. And that, pa that family would be considered a middle class family having two cars. The mom stays at home. They have two kids. They go on multiple vacations a year and everything is fine. But time passes. Things get way more expensive. We're in a different phase of capitalism. And now, who are having kids? The extremely rich people who actually can't afford to have kids. The people right in the middle of the pack living paycheck to paycheck knows that they cannot raise kids. And then it's the other fucking spectrum of retards. People that are actually trailer trash living in poverty that just pops out kids. And those kids don't grow up with proper education or proper parenting. Parents themselves cannot even focus on parenting because it's so hard that both mom and dad has to work multiple fucking jobs to fucking sustain themselves. That's the current lifestyle and the generation that we live in. And these kids grow up watching stupid fucking idiots like Aiden Ross, Jack Doherty, other edgy people, right? They think they'll oh, dub, L, unk, smoke in the pack, wish the Dragon Ball, you know, your dead brother's hoping to wish back. Look at the fucking verbiage, the wording. These stupid kids are growing up watching dumb fucking influencers, and this is what we get.
I am a dumb influencer too, for sure. But this is the nature of the society that we fucking live in. This fucking idiot is a simple byproduct of what we call society. It's not really their fault, even though they're doing this stupid shit. It's their parents' fault, but it's not even their parents' fault because the parents live in this fucking ecosystem, this system that breeds this behavior. We're cooked. Hello? And that has gravitated to this degree, to where I'm currently at. It is insane how we got here. It's insane that my family is being doxxed. My family is in danger. I have to call law enforcement to be able to guard my place. Crazy shit. I have to... I have to worry about my social security number being hacked into. They were actively... I have the receipts the messages and everything of it, all the IDs. How the fuck is this even possible? Social insurance number hacked into? And here's the thing, right? If you're ever gonna make content online, never, never get your personal life, never give away your personal name. Don't do any of that shit. And I'm not blaming Chibi here. This is just the unfortunate circumstance of Chibi being a kind spirit. And for over the last decade or so of making content, I'm sure he has shared some personal information that was used to kind of bond with this community. But all it takes is one bad faith actor. All it takes is that one crazy person to fucking ruin everything. It is in your best interest to keep your personal life, personal relationship, any of that information out of content creation. You are here for the content. Give the people the content. Anything about your personal life, it does not fucking matter. Keep that shit silent and keep yourself protected because there's fucking insane people online that have nothing better to do but do shit like this. People actively trying to get my social security number. People trying to actively get my phone number. And then I have people on Twitter here and even people in my comments on my YouTube video saying and deflecting like, oh, why'd you mention the Boruto community? I, I mean, <laughs> why? Because that... <laughs> just, just, just right over there, you can see it. Members of the Boruto community, okay? What, what else would you want me to do? I, again, I personally wouldn't blame specifically the Boruto community. I think that this just happens to be a mentally deranged child in the Boruto community. But these kind of bad act, faith actors exist in any community. And the bigger the community is, the more likely that those more deranged people will exist simply due to just large law of large numbers. Remember, 1% of people hating you doesn't seem bad. 100 people, out of 100 people, 99 people like you, one person hates you, that's not bad. Scale that up to a 10x, 1,000 people, right? Now you have 10 people that hate you. Scale that up 10x, 10,000 people, 100 people hate you. That 1%, is not insignificant in content creation and social media at scale this big. Just say, okay, I I'm not playing it safe here. My life is not just in danger. It's my girlfriend's life, my dog's life, my cat's life, and my family as well at this point. And my brother's grave site is in jeopardy. At this point, I think it may be in his best interest to literally fucking move. Now, is that a reasonable thing to say? Maybe not, right? It's not just easy to fucking move. Who knows what his livelihood situation is? Who knows what, the, what else is going on, right? But right now with all this shit online, I think that extra like, measures should be definitely taken. I'm in a state of shock. Just how vile and evil yeah. people can be. I don't care. I'm not in a state of shock. See, Chibi is a very kind person that decides to see the best in people. I'm the exact fucking opposite. I always assume the absolute worst of people. Even though that may not be the healthiest way to live, even though that might not be the most idealistic way to live, it's a pragmatic way to protect myself from bullshit like this fucking happening. I know that there's people that's absolutely deranged and just, just full of retardation online. There is no point to give anyone the benefit of the fucking doubt. I will shoot first to protect myself before letting anyone do the shit. Never, ever think that the public, that the people watching your content are somehow your friends, somehow they're your family. None of that shit fucking matters. All that matters is that it's entertainment. You watch the content, then you fuck off. There's nothing more or less. Care if you hate me. You can call me a gooner. Hell. 
Call me a pedo, okay? I don't I don't care, okay? He's not, I know though. it's not true. Call me that. I don't care. But when you attack someone's family and deceased family at that, you're no longer in my personal eyes even human anymore. It's just a dumb fucking stupid kid. And even if it's not a kid, it's a grown ass man that's literally never experienced any significant loss in their life, right? There is no way a reasonable person who go out of the way to literally dogpile on a dead fucking family member making fucking Dragon Ball jokes. It's crazy. And it's dumb, stupid, edgy children that think that they can just type this shit because they're hidden behind the fucking anonymous screen. If this shit happened to them, oh, I bet things would change real fucking quick. How can you even be viewed upon as a human when you could do something just so despicable? They're not human. I know these people. They are not human. This is subhuman actual monkey behavior. People get brownie points and me even posting this video is going to make them happy. But receipts are made now. I got the receipts. Enough evidence. And I'll tell you what. I will 100% doing everything I can. Protect yourself. This is next level gross. And I just cannot believe what I have witnessed from content creators as well on this platform that have actively justified everything that's happened to me because they don't like it. <laughs> Other creators justifying this behavior because of anime beef online. Terminally online, mentally ill people. There's no semblance of logic or rationality. It's all for the sake of farming imaginary points on Twitter that doesn't even bring you any monetized process, right? There's nothing to gain from this shit. You got a blue check mark. You farmed a million impressions. Congratulations. Here's fucking $10. Pay your fucking rent. It's just so... It, it, it's just so kind of cathartic. And I hate this entire situation. And it is, again... 99% of people don't think like this, but all that matters is that 1%. And my whole attitude towards approaching content creation and handling people, I will never change myself because shit like this happens. Focus on the content, that's it. Separate your personal life, all that shit does not matter. Protect yourself first, focus on the content. And for Chibi right now, this is a very unfortunate situation that I hope will be resolved in, a, in just a graceful, peaceful way. Like me because I'm annoying, because I'm weird, I have massive content creators that legitimately have justified things. Crazy shit. That's gross, man. That's gross. We live in a society now that it's fine to dox someone, it's fine to send death threats to someone's family, completely mock someone's dead brother because you don't like them. That's it. This is not drama. This is not content farming. This is a serious fucking issue. And Chibi is literally endangered right now and i implore everybody to share this share this make the word spread the news make sure that people are aware of this shit and actively admonish others that are cheering this bullshit on we're, what are we fucking I'm doing we're watching fucking anime online this is not serious it's just for fun but somehow we're at the state where Chibi's entire livelihood is in danger, his family's getting doxxed, his dead brother is being made fun of? Like, what the fuck are we doing right now? We truly do live in a society, and you can tell why I am so blackpilled and I will never change myself. Please, get the word out. I hope other bigger creators are talking about this because my video ain't gonna do shit. We need other people like fucking Asmongold to get on this shit.